man, these are good. These are real good. All right, so today we are talking about an Air Jordan 1 Low that was probably on a lot of your radars. And unfortunately, the way that they released wasn't exactly easy for us. This shoe right here, Jordan 1 Low, Starfish, an OG one low, by the way, not those standard lows that you see at Foot Locker Finish Line Champs. This is well done. If you missed out on these on the sneakers app, the resale price right now is $300. Retail for this shoe is $130. Would I pay $130 for these? Absolutely. Would I pay $300? pushing it. So we got a couple things to discuss real quick and then we're going to show you these on feet. You can determine for yourself if you want to go for a pair. This shoe is coming in from Jordan Brand and Soul Savvy. So thank you to both of them for giving me what was an early look. I'm not getting this video up until, you know, after the initial release, but we're not done. This shoe is probably gonna hit a bunch of other boutiques. There were some raffles at random stores, which tells me not a lot of places have gotten their inventory yet. You will see these pop up online at your normal boutiques that sell Jordans and other places. How do you cop a pair if you don't know where they're gonna drop? That is where Soul Savvy comes into play. If you're a Soul Savvy member, there's a lot of perks. One of them is their Slack. That gives you pre-cart links, restock info, everything you would need to cop a pair of these. So say you're on their Slack at 9.30 a.m. and this shoe is gonna drop randomly on a website that you're unaware of at 10 a.m. and Soul Savvy gets noticed, so do you if you're a member. It immediately brings you to the product page and gives you a chance to cop these. If that is something you're interested in, Soul Savvy is down in the description. You can sign up there. There are plenty of other perks and tools that Soul Savvy offers to cop Jordans, Nikes, everything you would want. So with these in particular, there's a few things that we need to talk about before I show them to you on feet and with an outfit. For one, this is called the Air Jordan 1 Low Starfish. If you are unfamiliar with that term, that is the same color orange that you would see on these, the reverse shattered backboard, shattered backboard 1.0. Now you probably noticed that the color is different. Pretty noticeably different, I would say. If I had to choose, I mean, I'm a little biased, so I do like this shade more, but that is not to say that this looks bad. It just looks a little bit more red. If you've seen photos of this shoe online, chances are you may have thought that they were Chicago ones. I don't own Chicago one highs or lows, and that makes this shoe even more appealing to me. The shirt I'm wearing is red. Obviously, this is an orange, but you can see how similar they are. And also, you get two more laces, three in total. Obviously, anytime you get more laces with it, gives you more options. Style-wise, that is a plus. The shoe fits true to size. I'm mentioning that before I forget, but how they look with shorts and how they look with pants, how they look with outfits is what is most important. But enough with all that, let's throw them on feet. You guys can let me know what you think about them. Definitely hit the comment section. Let me know if you're going to be copying a pair of these. Do you already have a pair, etc. Leave a comment down below and make sure you're following me on Instagram if you want to see more early looks at Jordans and how I style things. I'm at Eddie Wynn Kicks. I'm going to switch up things a little bit with this video and tell you why I'm wearing certain things with this shoe. So it's not going to be a lookbook style. I'm going to tell you why I chose to wear certain items because styling this shoe, I don't want to say it's difficult, but there's a few things that I think about when throwing a shoe like this on feet. Let's dive into all that right now. In my opinion, one of the most appealing things about Jordan 1s is that you can wear them with pretty much anything. I think universally that's why people love them. They're not like the other retros where they're basketball shoes and they're big and bulky. But one thing you can't forget is that this shoe is retro and I love to play off that, which is what this outfit is. I've got a purple Phoenix Suns t-shirt on. This is vintage. I've shown it to you before, but one of the main reasons I'm rocking it is because I'm gonna show you a few different colors that go really well with orange. But when you have a purple t-shirt with a little bit of orange on it, even more so does it flow. I've got some black Nike woven shorts on, very essential. I've got a bunch of different colors in these. You guys probably have them as well, but probably the most essential is the black pair. I did think about going with orange shorts here or some version of it, 
but because the laces and the Nike swoosh in this pair right now are black, I wanted to play off that. As you can see, we've got high cut Nike crew socks going on. And it's funny because when I first started wearing these socks a long time ago, like when I first started off on YouTube, people would talk crazy trash. Love the outfits, hate the socks. Literally half the comments would be about the socks. And then it slowly started evolving into socks kind of look good here. Where'd you get the socks? Now socks are being critiqued. The height of the sock is being critiqued. It's too high, too low, needs a crunch. It's just funny. You know, this is my personal preference, kind of just to pull it up, not all the way, but pretty close to the top, push it down a little bit, and that's that. However, we end up throughout the day is what I'm rolling with. Didn't think I'd ever be talking about that, but here we are. So definitely a nice sportswear inspired look. It doesn't have to be the Suns, but play off the retroness of these shoes. It can be whatever team you want. Maybe a throwback Tampa Bay Buccaneers jacket or something like that, you know? This jacket might be just a little bit too off, uh, maybe, it might work. And that just kind of reminds me about this entire look. If you get these shoes for 130, the shorts were on sale for like 35 or something like that. And then I thrifted this t-shirt for, I don't know, 15 bucks, maybe 20. My hat is 28. Pretty reasonably priced or affordable outfit, depending on how you want to look at it. And it's dope. It doesn't look like it's a cheap outfit. So keep that in mind. Okay, so I'm gonna be real brief with this one. I just wanna to touch on colors again. The first outfit, you saw me wearing a purple t-shirt. This time, I'm wearing a forest green top. When you wear something that's orange, don't necessarily just match it with orange. There are other colors that are gonna complement it really well. Purple, orange, they go well together. Green, orange, they go well together. Keep that in mind. Hoodie, short season is just around the corner. I'm not rushing summer, but I'm just saying, hoodie and short season is upon us. This is a sweatshirt I did last year and there's a little bit of orange detailing within the basketball on the chest. And I think that that is all you need. All you need is a little bit of orange to go with these shoes. As far as the shorts go, I just wanted a fun pattern. So I threw on these French Terry shorts. I actually got these from Forever 21 and they have a little bit of orange in the shorts. So again, the details, man. If there's an orange as an accent color or a little detail with orange in it, Perfect. This is totally irrelevant, but I just got this sample in for the fall and I could not be more hyped. This is a custom dyed hooded sweatshirt that I'll be releasing this fall. Obviously no graphic on the front just yet. I have a specific project that this is gonna be a part of. You can see the difference between the sweatshirt I'm wearing and this one. I wanted this to be lighter, a more true forest green. So this is the custom color that I had this thing dyed, had this done in a small manufacturing house out in LA. Man, if everything works out, I can't wait till you guys see this sweatshirt. The hood is updated, so it sits up just a tad. Love this. Anyway, green goes well with Jordan 1s. Okay, so last up, we have a menswear look. Obviously, I've shown you some casual streetwear stuff, but menswear should be a part of your closet if you like to have different options. I mean, if you're good with streetwear only, that's cool. Me, I like to touch things up. I've got some black chinos on, slim fit. I've rolled up the bottoms just a little bit so that you can see the socks. They're white, and that's intentionally. Some people would go with black socks, that's cool. My preference here is to kind of play off the white in the sneaker, and I swapped the laces last outfit. I think that the whites look a little bit better. A rule of thumb for me is to match the tongue color. I think that's always a clean look when your laces match your tongue. Obviously, you don't have to, and I break that rule all the time, but when in doubt, that's my rule. Up top, I have a lightweight sweater from J. Crew. It's in a sky blue and then a white. Typically, that's not a color you would think goes with orange, and it's not matchy, but it works. Menswear isn't all about matching. It's just about having more of a sophisticated, put together look. So I feel like this does that. And then the hat, I've got an orange Tommy Hilfiger hat on to play off the sneakers a little bit, just to show you, hey, the sneakers are what I care about most here. That's why I'm wearing the orange hat. Certainly no hat, white hat, or anything else would work. These two, I don't know. I would feel like this is something that I would rock. I just threw it on. I may, 
you know, switch the hat on the way out. It's not a deal breaker for me, but I think they play off one another. So don't be afraid to incorporate some menswear into your outfits. And if you guys wanna see more menswear in these type of videos, definitely hit the comments and let me know. Your feedback is important to me. I read mostly everything. I mean, certainly in older videos, I miss the comments, but stuff that I've uploaded two or three days later, I look at the comments. Any feedback you got, I listen. Please leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. If you wanna check out Soul Savvy, it's in the description, as well as the details to these outfits. Subscribe if you're new here. Follow me on IG. Be safe out there, guys. Thank you for tuning into this one. I'll catch you later. Peace.